Hello. I'm on my son's end of the cabin this morning. And the uh, reason why I'm here is because I want to show him how I fill the gallons of water with the ice that melted. And so we didn't use all our ice. Um, it's winter time and we still bring ice to our homestead, but we don't always use it like we do in the summertime. So um, I take the clean, fresh water and put it in gallon containers here. There used to be water containers in the first place. And I just fill it. And the reason why I'm on his end of the cabin is because I want him to see me do it. And I was going to ask him to um, participate and fill one of the containers himself. But as an artistic person, I believe artistic people are naturally stressed out um, or naturally under more stress than non-artistic people. <laughs> non-artistic people are. So um, I'm already adding stress from being in his space. So I'm not going to ask him to do anything, but I am in his view. So I'm just hoping that he picks up some of the um, tips on how I'm relocating our water and put it in these gallon containers so we can use it. And also, um, my son is Shelby. He's artistic. He's 27. Here he is in his area in his space and I also um, had him change the movie out because he has certain movies that he just watched over and over again and which he gets to watch watch the movies but I like to inject um, different movies and educational movies so he's not just wa repeatedly watching the same movies and not really gaining anything new so here I am in his space and I'm going to fill, this is my third gallon of water that I'm going to fill. And so I'm not going to stress him out anymore. Um, like I say, stress number one, I'm in his space. Stress number, stress, stretch number two, um, I had him change out his movie that he was watching. So I'm not going to add any more stress. In fact, um, I'm going to finish up here so he can enjoy the alternate movie and have his space back. And I think it's really beneficial to encourage artistic people to do as do the best they can, you know, but just edge them along. Don't try to force them to do anything. Um, Chevy, he usually exercises every day. But on days when he doesn't, you know, when he's really resistant, I don't push it any further because he's he's basically, um, he's considered nonverbal, although he does um, speak rarely, but um, overall he's considered nonverbal and an autistic person may not be able to express when they're not feeling well. So in areas where Shelby normally cooperates, when he's resisting me, um, he doesn't want to exercise or he doesn't, um, you know, it's just something that he just really particularly don't want to do. Um, usually when it comes to brushing his teeth, he will brush his teeth. Sometimes I get a little extra because I want to keep those teeth healthy, his um, teeth and gums help healthy as possible. But, um, Every now and then, he might just not be feeling like it, and it depends on what we've had to eat that day, how much sugary drinks, how much sugary foods he's had, and um, and what we've already accomplished during the day. So, but very rarely I will skip any type of flossing, any type of brushing, or mouth wrenching. But and usually he's he's on board with it. So. Um, but because he's nonverbal, and most artistic people have a hard time communicating verbally. So when he gives me a lot of resistance, 
resist resistance i usually just bag off and you know we'll pick up on it you know maybe a couple of hours later or maybe even the next day so i think um aut autistic people especially um i know with my son a lot of times they're very passive they're very timid they're easy to um to be stressed they're easily to be intimidated so that's why i i basically tiptoe when i'm in his space i don't come into his area unnecessarily i usually have um food or drink and or i'm here to clean and when i do enter his space or enter his room i do it um i let him know that you know first of all I've, i'm smiling you know, I just have a nice smile on my face because um, where he might not be able to communicate very well verbally, I find that my son is, he's really in tune with your mood. So you want to enter, um, and I think this is generally the truth with, um, or generally true with autistic people is that they're very sensitive to what mood you're in so first you're already stressing them out by being in their space so you want to come into their space with a positive attitude and then you want to enter the space showing them why you're there so most of the times you know i have food or drink so it's obvious you know that that's why i'm there or you know if i'm coming to do some cleaning you know, he can see that I'm here to do some cleaning. I have the towels or anything that I need. Um, a lot of times I'm here to turn his heat on, control um, the temperature on his end of the cabin. And so, and when I, so when I enter Shelby's end of the cabin and I don't have food, I don't have drink, I don't have, um, a dust towel or anything like that i'm i enter reaching for the heater that you see here mounted to the wall so this way he knows immediately i'm approaching and why i'm approaching and i'm approaching with a pleasant um expression on my face i mean you don't have to smile like a clown you know anything but you know people that um that are compassionate and sensitive to people with various disabilities they kind of know what i mean when i say you know have a smile on your face you know don't approach and it, and basically it's um the same with people that's not artistic you know when you enter a room you enter you you know you you with pleasantries you know you say hello you know you give yeah, respect to the people that's already in the room or you be polite to the people that's already in, in the room or the owner of the house things like that so i believe that um letting artistic people give them the opportunity to try a lot of families you know we 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 love our family members with disabilities and we do everything for them and they never get a chance to you know, to try to, to, um, to build up their own skills to do basic things. So I tried not to make that mistake with Shelby because I find out that, um, when given the chance, the opportunity to try, he can build basic skills that, that help him to, you know, to allow him to be a little more independent. Thanks for watching.